Hi guys, it's Sam. I am not sure what I'm going to call this video. I am embarking on a new journey slash new chapter in my life. I am not getting married, nor am I pregnant. I'm sorry, not yet anyway. I am actually, it's a lifestyle change. I want to lose weight. I want to get fit, just make healthier choices. And what came about, what why this came about was I went to the doctor for a physical and he didn't give me terrible news. It was just news that kind of woke me up and I had a heart to heart with myself saying, what are you waiting for? You're, you're, you're going to be 80 and then you're, that's when you're going to want to make the change or something. And I want to be healthy and fit now. Uh, it's, you know, the news was like that. It seems I have diabetes, low vitamin D, um, my cholesterol, I don't, was, I, you know, just news that I can change and I was just, it's time, the time is now, what am I waiting for? And I, it's hard for me, uh, I've steadily gained about 35 pounds in the last 10 years mm -hmm. and you don't notice it until you have to buy bigger clothes and it's just... I love food, but I'm obviously loving the wrong food, and I don't exercise, so there's a lot of changes that need to be made, and I thought I would document it because I just recently started this new lifestyle change, and it is a lifestyle change. I don't want to be on a diet forever. It's I just want to make, you're going to hear healthier choices a lot in this video because I want to make healthier choices, and... I, it's been a struggle because I want to get, I want to eat pasta, I want to eat rice, I want to eat hamburgers, I want to, um, just, I just love food and trying new food, but it's, it doesn't have to be like that, and I know that, so I am, I've been trying to eat a lot more greens and chicken and, uh, no carbs, it's, cause I have to be, the doctor recommended, um, I be on a low carb diet, uh, so, I don't, I know it's, everything is in moderation as well, but for me, um, I want to be at, my weight, my goal weight is, you know how you have an ideal weight and then you have, like, a, your, your goal weight? My ideal weight is probably 120, uh, but that's, like, my high school, college weight, <laughs> and, you know, you, you always think about, you always want to go back to that, but it's really hard, so my goal weight is 130 to 140 pounds, and plus, with a 35-pound weight gain, you know how much I weigh now, and it's, I don't feel healthy at this weight, I don't feel good at this weight, and I just won't, I, I'm not, and I don't want you guys to think I'm about the number, because I'm not, I know people can be super skinny and not healthy, and, you know, you could be sort of looking big and very healthy, so I just want to feel good, and I don't feel good right now, so that's why I'm making the change, and yeah, I just had a heart to heart with myself, and I'm like, what are you, yeah, like, what are you waiting for? Uh, just do it, and I'm starting to, and since it's a lifestyle change, I know I'm not going to do it overnight. I don't want to do it kind of like cold turkey where I drop everything. I'm slowly incorporating. First, I'm changing my diet because that's, I think, one of the most important things for me to change. Uh, I, I, yeah, my diet, I'm going to try to, when I walk Ava, because I walk her almost every night, I'm going to, and it's, since it's nice weather, I'm going to try to run with her and maybe jog with her because right now I'm just doing a stroll around the neighborhood, but I can really run um and jog with her and um yeah I, I just thought I would tell you guys that I'm starting this new journey and um if you're on you know if you're doing a lifestyle change for health with health for healthier choices I want to be there for you as well and we can support each other and you can give me ideas on meal plans because that gets that's hard I always and I think one of the things that have helped me, and I'm not patting myself on the back after three days or anything like that, but it's not as hard. It's hard, but not as hard as I thought it would be. I'm really proud that I have managed not to eat a carb uh, for three days, uh, but I've been eating, so I've not, I've been trying to pre-plan meals and have things in the fridge that aren't, are good for me. So like yogurt, I've been cutting up uh, peppers, cucumbers, carrots, celery, and having hummus as dip, and, uh, 
just things like that. Things having things in the fridge that are good for me and not bad for me. Uh, and you know, I live with other people, so like my today, my sister, she had um, she had McDonald's for dinner, and she's that's fine because she's you know she's she doesn't need to. I mean, she has to do a few changes in her lifestyle, but I mean that's a whole different video. Uh, but she was eating McDonald's and I was so jealous, but I was like, you know what, as a treat, maybe for my birthday I could have McDonald's, but I don't need it. And I just had my chicken and my um, uh, zucchini spaghetti. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you that I'm starting this new journey and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do updates weekly you know, every two weeks, monthly, I want to do food journals, uh, so I'll be, I'll try to do that, it's hard to kind of, you know, oh, let me stop to film before I eat, <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna try, and I'll update you guys, so currently, I weigh 161 pounds, and that is probably the most I've actually weighed, uh, and you know you're getting bigger when you don't even, when it's hard to close up your fat chains. Uh, so it's that I it's am tough. trying to grow a very small vegetable garden. I have two types of tomatoes, a jal jalapenos, I have basil and parsley because those are the things that are easiest to grow where I live. If you have any other suggestions on what vegetables are easy to grow in New York City, please let me know because I have two black thumbs and I need all the help I can get. So yeah, I've been I have a little garden and growing back so there. So I hope you guys uh you know, like this new addition to my channel. It's I think it's going to be helpful for both for both of us, for all of us. And you guys have to keep me accountable. Ask me how I'm doing my diet or my lifestyle change, not my diet, my lifestyle change. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I don't know how to end this. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Also, I wanted to say a very big thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. Somebody had mentioned it in a comment, and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so true. So, I really appreciate it, and I want to say again thank you for taking the time out to watch my ever so long videos and my incoherent babbling but i really i really appreciate you guys and thank you again